and that is DIY room decor. I love making DIY room decor because it's like so much cheaper than like going out and actually purchasing it. And this stuff actually always turns out super, super cute as well. So you guys should definitely try some out. If you guys do like this video though, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Last time I asked you guys to give me a thumbs up, you gave me so many. So hopefully we can do that again today. And before we actually get into this video, guys, I have something to address. We have hit 300,000 subscribers. What the heck? That is so many people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Like 300,000 people have clicked the red button and that just like blows my mind. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, all you have to do is head down below and click the red subscribe button. It's super, super easy. And that way you'll see all of my videos every single week. But that is insane. So I want to know where you guys are from. So leave me a comment down below. If you didn't already know, I am from Queensland, Australia. I actually live in Brisbane, but I really want to know where you're from. So so leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it if you did because I'm like super, super nosy and really interested. <laughs> also, if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, make sure to head over to my Instagram account because I've been posting heaps of photos lately. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to follow me. My handle is at Sarah Jane Betts. So anyway, hopefully you guys like this video and let's get into it. So to kick off the video, I thought I'd start off with a little organizational DIY because I feel like that's really relevant for 2017. So it's this cute jewelry hanger and all you're gonna need is some rocks. I got mine off the ground and I also have a plank of wood, some spray paint and some white paint. The white paint though is super optional. It depends on what color you want your plank of wood. I just decided to go with some white paint. You could leave this as just like the wood color or you could go for an actual color, but I like to keep it nice and fresh. So I painted my wood white and obviously I just sat that down to dry and it actually only took five minutes because it's like 35 degrees Celsius every single day in Queensland at the moment. So while they were drying, I decided that I'd paint my rocks and I decided to spray paint mine in gold spray paint. And you could obviously go and switch this up and paint them whatever color you want or just like freehand paint them. But when I painted them gold, I was like, oh my gosh, these actually look like gold chunks. And I just thought that looked really cool and like kind of expensive. <laughs> but anyway, that's basically the DIY. I ended up getting some of these like Velcro little sticky things that don't damage the wall. So I hung those up on the back of it and then just pressed it onto the wall and it stayed really well. I hung up my jewelry and I thought it looked super cute. I feel like it's awesome to make DIY inspiration boards for like the start of the year because that's when I feel most inspired. Is that just me? Comment down below. Does anyone else feel more inspired at the start of the year compared to like the end? But anyway, I decided to make an inspiration board in this video and I basically just took this mesh piece of like cage looking stuff. I got it from a hardware store. It was like $5 or something like that. And I basically went into some magazines and cut out stuff that I thought was really awesome. And of course, I made sure that everything that I was cutting out looked cute as well. But you guys know me. I also went on to Pinterest and print out some stuff that I had in a little inspiration board for 2017. So if you do want to see this, I'll link it down below in case you want to make this DIY. But I just went ahead and printed out some of that stuff and then just like cut it all up. And then of course, I decided to hang them up with these really cute little pegs that I got from a dollar store. So they were really cheap and I feel like that way you can change it up whenever you want. But I had sections and this section was like my Italy travel section. And I just think this DIY is so cool because you can totally customize it. You don't have to use this like mesh fencing as the background. You can totally use a cork board or just like a poster board and you can put whatever you want on there too. So I think that's really awesome. I Moving on to the world's cutest DIY ever, I've got this DIY Zen garden for all those times that you're super stressed so you can just like pop this on your desk and it's also like pen organization as well. All you're gonna need is some decor sand or some real sand if you wanna go to the beach and then I took some fake succulents as well but that's totally optional and then lastly you're just gonna need some pens. So all I did was I took a bowl from the kitchen, just like stole it and then I just put some sand in there. I think I used two of these full like decor little jars of sand and then I put my fake succulents in but as I said, you could totally skip this step if you didn't want to. And then I took these really cute pens that I got from Kmart and put them in there. And that's like, seriously it guys. It's like so easy. Not gonna lie, low key super proud of this DIY because it's kind of like a three in one. You've got like a fake terrarium and then you've also got a Zen garden and then you've got somewhere to store your pens too. So like pretty proud. 
moving on to the next DIY. It is super easy. It's this wall hanging and I actually did find it on Pinterest and I thought it was gonna be so hard, but it's probably the easiest DIY I've ever done. All you need is two things, some wool and a wooden pole or like a piece of driftwood or something. And basically all you wanna do is take your yarn and cut pieces that are a little shorter than arms width length. And once you start cutting pieces, all you wanna do is fold those pieces over so they're kind of like doubled over on each other and create piles of like 10 pieces of yarn each. So you can kind of see what I mean, like right here, each pile needs to have like around 10 pieces. And then with your yarn, you just wanna loop it over onto your piece of wood. So as I said, you could totally just go to the hardware store and get like a small piece of wood or go to the beach and get some driftwood, but you just wanna loop it over. And normally with DIYs, I'm the kind of person that fails. Like comment down below if when you try a new DIY, you always fail because that's pretty much me. But with this one, it's pretty much foolproof. Like I don't think that you could really go wrong at it, which is so awesome. After that, all I did was hung it up on the wall and cut it down into like a V shape because that's like the typical shape people do on Pinterest, but you can do like a rounded shape too. I think that would look so cute. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. And if you did, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up because that way I know that you guys actually enjoy watching these things. So I really appreciate it when you do give the video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to head down below and comment where you're from because as I said, I'm a super nosy person. So I really, really want to know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thank you guys so much for 300k. Like, what the heck? If you haven't subscribed already though, make sure to do so. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days.